Welcome back to Deloney V8 Motorsports and Burns Brothers Performance. It's another special day with a special guest. Who do we have here with us but one Nikki Tabor. So Nikki, we're going to have a few questions for you. George, should we kick this off? Oh yeah. It's Friday like we night. we usually do. No apple juice for this one. No apple juice for this one. No. Nikki's drinking Bud Light. She's over 21. All right, so we've been doing some videos on this old 56 Chevy. This is the lady George is building this car for. So we've got a few questions for you, Nikki. We're going to start off here. You ready? Yeah. Okay. What was your first car? Oh, gosh, I'm embarrassed to say. It was a Nissan 200 SX. Well, that's it was a, a two-door freaking five collector's speed. item. What are you talking about? Yeah. So no disrespect to any of the import folks that are watching on the channel. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a Nissan. That's not bad. Yeah. Those are collector's yeah. items these days. What I'm good with about? that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I uh, had it for 10 months before I was T-boned at a stop. Like, left my friend's house, made it a block, and then boom, hasta luego. That's bad. Sorry to hear that. But glad you're still with us. Okay. What is... Probably in Mexico at the time, but what's the fastest you've ever driven? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, okay, so my friend lived out in the sticks, and we would drive down this road called Valley View. Not this one, a different one. And uh, about 110 in her grandpa's pickup truck. That You could feel the wheels doing this. <laughs> okay. Oh, the super stock shuffle. Bo yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bonus question. What kind of truck? Oh, gosh. It was some kind of Ford. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I've driven 184.9. I'm not sure if anybody's heard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who has not heard? It, it, right. Yeah. It had to be said. When did you get the tattoo? Um, well. Not yet. No, it's not public, George. Oh, okay. Okay. So, would you say you're a competitive person? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, uh, uh, yeah, it's one of my many traits. Very okay. Competitive. Sports? Yeah, I played all the sports. Okay. Here's a big one now. We don't want you to cry. Oh what? Gosh. What's your biggest concern about racing this car once it's ready? <laughs> <laughs> so I marked it on my calendar at work for that Friday. It's my last day. And my boss came out. She's like, you just give me my, your two weeks. And I was like, well, if I crash the car and it doesn't kill me, somebody's going to. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that's my biggest fear is that mm. I'm going to wreck it. Not that I'm going to, I mean, we're going to be very safe. We're going to take our time learning to do it. So nobody's going to get hurt. And we have the date set because it is which event? Hot Nationals. Nationals. Perfect. We will do a little testing before then. I will... <laughs> A little testing. I will run the car, uh, shake it down, and then we're going to uh, probably back it off a little bit just so she can get a feel for it. All right. Hot Rod Nationals is a race at Woodburn Drag Strip, by the way. It's our favorite race. My yep. favorite race every yep. year. I haven't missed it. And Good I times. And it never rains out. Just saying. Uh-oh. Yeah, I might have changed that. Way to go, that. Dave. Sorry. It's snowing yes. in March. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. so, Nikki, you've been going to the drag races with George for years. That's the first time I think I ever met you. Memorable first acquaintance and exchange there. I was a perfect lady. I was a perfect lady. I don't know what you're talking about. You were awesome. Until she met you. Very resilient. But you like going down there. That's your happy place. So tell us why. Why do you like the drags? Honestly, it's all of us getting together. It's a lot of fun. Everybody has a good time. It's hanging out. That's why I tell the wives who don't want to go, who are like, ah, bored of it. It's like, listen, I, I don't know anything about cars at all. Like, I should. I should probably know more than I do. <laughs> but I just like the community. Everybody's like good people, hanging out, beers. Nice. Good answer. I feel the same way. Um, Okay, last question, and then we probably have some shout-outs and some other stuff. And we are going to take a look at the car. There's some action that's happened on the car here. So 
any suggestions for the channel? So George and I obviously have been doing a lot of videos. We've been having a lot of fun with our amateur status here on YouTube. Any suggestions? What should we do different besides, you know, having you on here? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Um, I don't have suggestions. I told you post and ghost. That's my only suggestion. Post and ghost. Post and ghost. Yeah. Okay. So why is she saying that? Well, <laughs> One of the hottest video, the hottest video I've got on the channel is Chris Storley's first fire up of his 55 Chevy. And I've had a number of comments about the car running a long time without <laughs> any coolant. So just to confirm, the car does have a radiator now. Uh, Chris knows what he's doing. And we assure you, yeah. Chris Storley knows what he's doing. Yeah, Chris has wheeled a car similar to that. Well, similar, similar body style. Uh, to 204 miles an hour. So he knows what he's doing. Um, that engine is just fine, trust me. And it now has a cooling system. And I think he's driven the car by now, so. Yeah. When I first met Chris Storley, he had his car at Torque Freaks getting dynoed. I was dynoing my Chevelle, and he was dynoing his other 55 he had. It was still primer black. It said NOS 454 on the license plate. He made 100 more horsepower than I did. And we hit it off. Uh, became kind of buddies and then I swear that car like developed and evolved really fast into an amazing tube chassis beautiful black 55 and then he um, <clears throat> he did a swap got rid of the car <laughs> and uh, he's got this new one and yeah yeah trust Dave when he says that Chris Thurley knows what he's doing when he's running his car with no radiator it he's He's not hurting it by yeah. any means. So now, appreciate the comments for sure. But yeah, don't worry about that engine. It is just fine. Yeah. Uh, and definitely want to shout out. We've got the old school Storley Brothers Racing shirt on here, the sweatshirt. And I uh, appreciate the videos he's sent over the hill. Um, they don't live close by, but he's been sending me videos and I've been posting them up. And people love that thing. Yeah. That crusty old 55 Chevy. Uh, and it's going to go fast eventually. So he hasn't had it out yet, but uh, he will. So. Yep. All right, anything else before we do the walk around? No, I think we're good. Okay, a couple more. So we're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> so I've got to say thanks to everybody. I have to mention Stacy. Our, uh, I think she's now the chief marketing officer is her new title uh, for the channel. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Stacy and Bill. I know they've been, they've been plugging the channel. i uh, got to thank everybody that's been on this thing. So I've had a lot of help from a lot of friends. I've had a lot of fun posting all these videos. I'm still having fun doing it. But Brett and Ron and Kirk, obviously the Storleys, George, Burns Brothers Performance. Uh, about two years ago, I started driving down here once a week at least to get video clips of that Top Gun 55 Chevy. Yeah, that's where it all started. Yeah, and so we started posting a bunch of videos and trying to get subscribers, and uh, it's done pretty well. I, I never really thought I'd get 1,000 subscribers, uh, but it's been kind of fun to try, and so... Thanks everybody for that. And now we're gonna do a walk around and look at this car. All right. Good with that? Yeah. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Cheers, George. We're back here. We're gonna take a quick look at this 56. He has been doing metal work, body work. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> tin work. No, Lots not of metal tin work. work. It's all metal. Yeah, we have a we have a goal I'm trying to reach. And uh, so it's been it's been a lot of work in a short amount of time on this one, um, besides, you know, other activities, day job and and kid stuff. So, um, uh, got the floor pan in the car. Um, I had to replace uh, a little panel right there on both sides at the bottom of that inner panel. Um, there was rust there on both sides. Got that taken care of, and then set the body back down on the floor pan. <clears throat> what I did was I I left the the pan on the frame and then lowered it down. So basically centered the floor pan. Um, everywhere it needed to be and had all the body mounts bolted in and everything. Um, it worked out pretty well. Uh, um, what's the, that's weldable copper paint or something? Yeah, so it's weld through primer. I was using the silver uh, stuff for years and uh, I was watching some video or something and the guy was talking about the copper and uh, I tried the copper <clears throat> and it's, it's a lot cleaner. You get a lot of sp splatter when you're welding with the silver, I noticed. It's like a, it's like almost like a cold galve, 
but this stuff is a lot cleaner. So I, I really like this stuff better, but um, got the doors hanging on it. Um, and then did the outer rocker panels as well on both sides. Um, if and when the car gets painted, the outer rockers are going to need a little work to match the bottom of the door a little bit better for what the car is right now. It'll be fine. Yeah. But um, they don't they don't match the bottom of the door perfect. But and I see uh, you got your patch panels and you're going to get ready to patch. Yeah. The back, so this right? whole quarter panel here, the bottom of it, the front and the back, gets replaced. Okay. Um, rust there and then a good amount of body damage there. Um, so that'll get replaced. Um, so that's why this isn't welded on yet. Um, and I'll wait till the body's back on the frame to do that. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure everything's all nice and Show square. us how that door shuts. Yeah, it actually, <laughs> I'm actually really pleased with this side of the car. So nice. Um, yeah, just a little bit of work on this one. Um, but I'm not going to do any serious body work on the car uh, for now. I'm just going to leave it in the in the black that it's in. Um, I'll replace that, throw a little black paint on that or primer, and um, it'll be good for now. Nice. Um, <clears throat> I've been working on the firewall. I got it, uh, got all the, the heater holes welded up, battery mount, um, took the front braces off. I actually, um, a good buddy of my dad's from, from years ago, he, uh, he suggested when I was doing my 55 to take the front braces off. And uh, he said, you know, a lot of guys take those off on custom deal so i kind of like the clean look so i ended up taking them off and i think it'll be fine without them um and you did you call it the toe kick or whatever yep underneath? i had two patches in the toe kick both sides um other than that it was it was pretty good but um yeah i did all the way across on that side and um smoothing it out they had that big we had that big gash in the firewall right here from somebody um uh who it knows? looked like an axe went through yeah it. who knows yeah. what they did to it so I got that all welded up and, uh, and that's that right now is that's uh, fiberglass, uh, putty, um, just to kind of seal everything up. And then I'll do uh, regular, uh, putty on top of that to smooth it out. Um, got rid of all the holes for the wiring harness and I'll just put a small hole in there to, um, send a few wires through cause it'll have really minimum wiring harness on this car. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm really happy with uh, all the metal work that's going on on it. Uh, it's going on pretty fast. And yeah, you can kind of see on this um, right here where the the rocker panel's out just a fuzz. So to, just on the, about halfway back. So yeah. to uh, correct that, I will, I will cut that and bring that in. Um, just kind of nature of the beast with aftermarket panels. But um, this side's not latched. It's just it's got a magnet holding it on. But... Uh, this rocker panel came with the car that one i had to buy <clears throat> so two different brands and two different issues but um decent stuff yeah so the floor pan went in really good i was really happy with that um that came from classic industries if i remember um it was kind of hard to procure one actually because of you know a lot of people places were out of stock of them so i just bought the only one i could get so yeah and this one, you can see in the previous videos, the floor was just Swiss cheese. Oh, uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so. Um, and you're planning to your goal at this point. You're gonna paint. <clears throat> you're gonna paint the bottom of the floor. So yeah, I'm gonna. So my goal by the by this coming Wednesday, um, I want to have the bottom of the car painted, uh, firewall all body worked out and painted, and then the body back on the frame uh, for for good really. And then I'll start doing the roll cage. Yeah. So I did, uh, um, did some work in the back area too. Um, I got, uh, the back panel typical, um, was rotted out. Um, this one was actually really bad. Um, it was barely hanging on. So I took all that apart, cut that all out. And, um, this patch panel actually came with the car. Um, so I, I did use it. I was considering maybe putting a full trunk floor in it. Um, but for what this car is, I just couldn't see the, uh, spending the money on it. But, um, so I weld this panel in it. I wouldn't recommend it for like a show car type of a deal, but for what, what we're doing here, um, it'll work out. And then, uh, that piece. Yeah. So we'll put yeah. a couple pictures at the end of this. So this piece yeah. is, is right here basically. It goes right there in the in the corner, and it was it was pretty pretty bad. And I, um, 
I didn't buy a patch. I just made one. Um, it worked out pretty good. But, but yeah, we'll get the wells all ground down, and then I got to build a little hump over the fuel cell for the fittings, just because I, I want the I want the pump outside of the trunk. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just kind of the way the floor is, is, I'll have to build a little hump over the fittings, but no big deal. Um, it's. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy. I got a little. Uh, I got a patch to do right there, and then I got to weld up that hole. And uh, pretty much done with the metal work um, until the body goes back on the frame. And then, uh, <laughs> so this, uh, this license plate frame on the back of the car, this is actually the plate that's registered to the car. But so this license plate frame, my dad got that in 1979 at the Carcraft uh, Street Machine Nationals. And I'm, I cannot remember exactly where it was at, but um, I remember there were some pictures of him and uh, Indianapolis on the track with his El Camino so I'm not sure if that was where that one was at but um, anyways it was kind of cool dad's had it for years so I I threw it on the car I think it'd be kind of cool and fitting so but um, yeah it's coming along pretty good I got the um, <coughs> picked up the shocks the other day and uh, got the shock cross member kind of mounted on there I gotta wait till the weights on it till uh, I could actually bolt it on so Nice. I think we got the exhaust and all that last video. So right on. Yeah. We're moving along on it. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool to see this one come together. So absolutely should, uh, should run pretty good. We'll be back for another update. Thanks for watching. All right.